This morning here on Good Day Columbia, well, an ad campaign that pretty much rescued a struggling textile business in the Palmetto State has been on display in a new exhibit between the spring made sheets. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, well, this week is your last chance. And in fact, this Thursday, there's a spe special event to honor the Textile Springs Cotton Mills. Joining me this morning with some details, Anna Kate Twitty from the State Museum. Good morning to you. Good morning, and thanks so much for having me on the show. Absolutely. I'm excited about this uh, exhibit. We have Tyler. Friendy and Garrett over there sporting the bow ties. Tell me about this upcoming event for the textile. Yeah, as you mentioned, it is the closing of our um, Between the Spring Made Sheets exhibit, which closes actually on the 8th, okay. um, which is this Sunday. But this is just kind of a last minute celebration of this exhibit to try to get right. people out, to come have a fun evening, also see the original illustrations from the 1940s and 50s ad campaign that really saved Springs Cotton Mills um, out of Rock Hill. It was a risque, um, very edgy right. ad campaign. The first time there was really pinup girls. Today it's really not yes. that bad, but back <laughs> then it was a very risky campaign. So they had these spring mate girls and it was kind of the first time sex sex cells you ever saw Blood that. came out. Um, yeah, so it's really a, a celebration of how entrepreneurs and business um, um, businesses back then really took I took um, a step out outside of the box gotcha. and really um, got creative to, to put their brand on the map. And so we partnered with a lot of local um, artisans and businesses. For instance, Christian Nimi, who owns Rosso, mm -hmm. he's opening a new restaurant called Bourbon on Main Street. Nice. So it's going to be a first um, look and tasting of his, um, uh, what is it? It's um, Creole uh, taste blend. It's really gotcha. good, good tasting food. Dish. Um, yes, gotcha. and so it's going to be his first tasting of that food. We've also partnered with um, Mr. B Sustainable Glassware, which right here you'll see is um, recycled wine glasses. Okay. He's actually etched in um, the logo of the event. We've got several um, mm -hmm. bow tie companies we partnered with. Tightlines, y'all. We've got Cordial Churchmen, and we've got Titanic oh, cool. Alley, and, and think, also and Nanny Tyler's by Sally. Tyler's wearing one, right? Tyler's yes. wearing one right now. Tyler is wearing a Tightlines y'all bow tie. It's actually <laughs> um, for those people out there that can't tie a bow tie. It's actually pre-tied, and you button it in the back. There and you go. It can be worn three different ways. Well, look at that. <laughs> so Tyler, you got a three-in-one on back there. But now the spring-made sheets. Some of the bow ties are actually they've created bow ties out of this fabric. I think that's. And have made this, and those are going to be for sale at the event. We're also each one of our partners has brought um, items to be part of a silent auction, which all proceeds cool. from the event are going to go back to our art fund museum. Um, we're also going to be having bow tie lessons. Um, models walking around there just like go. these gentlemen so over if here. You don't quite know what to do. And cordial churchmen for a, they're only going to be able to do a limited quantity. But if okay. people want to bring in old bow ties, regular neckties, nice. uh, or regular neckties, they can be converted into bow ties. So okay. it's so going to be a traditional tie. They can. Get them changed yeah, into on a site. So Cordial cool. Churchman is going to bring out um, their sewing machine. So it's not everybody can't get it done, but we're going to have a limited yeah. quantity. Um, it is an extra fee, but it's really cool to see it on site. And we're going to have um, a blues duo. So it's really going to be a cool fun, it. fun night. And um, it's an opportunity for people to come into the museum. It, everybody wants to spend a night at the museum, right? Of course. And this and is a fun way to do that. Absolutely. So bring your friends out. It's $40 per person for non-members of the museum. Okay. But if you're a museum member, that's $30, which being a museum member is the best way to go because you get free general admission and you get discounts on all kinds of fun um, programs and events just like this awesome. one. Awesome. And bur Bourbon and Bowtie is happening tomorrow night, correct? Give Absolutely. That again. Six to nine tomorrow night, September 5th, which is a Thursday. Nice. Head out to the State Museum, folks. And as Anna Kate mentioned, part of the proceeds go back to the arts so we can have these fun and cool exhibits continue to come to our State Museum. And you can turn in your ties for bow ties and look like Tyler, Friendy, and Garrett over there. Thank you so much, Anna Kate, Thank for coming you. in this morning. Thanks. We'll get all these details on our website as well at MidlandsConnect.com. Stay with us, folks. There's more good day on the way.